Should you create a solo hosted game or should you create a dedicated server? What's the difference? Well, today in this video, we're gonna break it down. We're gonna explain it to you and give you the answer so you can hop into it. So first let's look at creating a solo or hosted game. So you just click on it, this little message will pop up, hit confirm, and then you're gonna click the plus. So this is you actually creating that save. Once it's in here, you get to pick a name, you get to pick a password, server limit. The thing to remember here with server limit is that this is a hosted game from your computer. So you need to be able to have a good enough computer to do this. And this is gonna be the same with dedicated. So instead of playing on an official server where you load in and you play where basically somebody else's computer is playing the game, now you're gonna be playing the game and then other people are gonna join in on you. So your computer needs to be strong enough. And with that, this setting right here is very important to remember, max distance from server host. So whatever this says, if I'm playing and you're playing with me, you can only ever be 600 meters from me based on the current setting. So that's very important to remember. The bigger number that is, the further you can be away from me, which means your computer needs to be able to basically have two games running at the same time. Because if you're really far from me and you have it set out to 1200, then a whole second section of the game needs to be loaded for that player and your computer has to load that data and then send it via the internet over to that player. Now there are a bunch of different settings in here. We're not gonna scroll through them all and take a read of them all, that's gonna take too long. However, there's some fun things you can do and I wanna make sure that you understand whenever it says things like collection XP rate, if it's at 100, that means it's normally 100%. So like, for instance, right there, it says jump height rate. So that's at one. If I put it to two, you're jumping double distance. At three, you're jumping three times normal distance. So just understanding what this terminology means can help not cause some confusion whenever you do certain things. So now let's hit the save button. Let's get loaded in and let's see what's going on. All right, so now let's hit the save button and then come up to the top, hit start. So now the server is running on your computer. You're gonna pick a character. I'm gonna take a moment. Thanks guys for watching. I really enjoy it. I really enjoyed creating content. If you haven't subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button if this video helps you out at all. And now let's get back into it and let's figure out how this works. So the game is gonna be just like normal now. You're gonna click where you wanna spawn, you're gonna load in. It might be a little slower at the start. Let the game boot up, let your computer figure out what's going on. And now let's test it out. So look on the bottom right, let's see. Yeah, so I just leveled up on one bush, right? Cause I set my XP rate super high. So now every single bush is gonna max me out super quick. So if you wanted to do this for your server, for whatever reason, uh, just you know, feel free to do it. There's also options in there to skip XP altogether. So I just passed level 10, so I lost my novice protection. You don't need to do this if you don't want to. If you wanted to just go into a server and mess around with things, there is settings in there to open up all skills. So now let's go back to the main menu and let's take a look at that other setting. So on this one, you do not hit the create solo game. You're gonna hit on the left side, create dedicated server. You're gonna hit that and another window is gonna pop up outside of this game. So go ahead and click on it. And now this pops up. So this is the front manager. This is where you actually create that server from. All right, so now this is gonna be all the same settings as before, but in this right here, and I'm gonna show it all. And while you look at my screen, I'm gonna to talk to you and tell you some really important things you need to understand before you attempt to do this. Some key things I want all my viewers to understand about a dedicated server. Effectively, instead of paying for a dedicated server and having someone else run it, you are now running it on your own computer. So you don't have to pay for it. As long as your computer is on and you actually launch the files, this will run in the background and that if you want to join, you will go join it as if you're joining a dedicated server. You need to have a computer that can actually do this. If your computer cannot handle having a server player limit of 40, then you don't need to do it. The reason I bring that up is normally when you play by yourself in a solo game, it's loading that one area around you on your computer. Now, if you have 40 different people playing and everybody's spread out and they're all in a different area, effectively your computer is running 40 different instances of the game and your computer has to be strong enough to do that paired with that if you're going to be doing this you're going to want to have good internet if you're having just you know one or two or three players it's not a big deal but if you have 40 people trying to play at the same time and your internet is not that good then you're going to have server lag and you're going to have latency problems all right so now you got it all ready you're ready to go so save the server and then hit start server and then you have to click the bat file so see where it says start server and then it says window batch file that is a bat file double click that and it's going to start running the server and i'm going to show it all to you here so you can understand and you don't freak out whenever you see it and you know what to expect so this should open and it's gonna start doing a bunch of stuff really fast. This is the actual server. Effectively, you cannot close this. If you close this, you'll crash the server and you risk losing all your data. So what this is doing is it's running the server on your computer in its own little window, in its own instance, and it's separate from the game technically. 
So now to play in this, you'll have to go join a server, go to dedicated server, and then search for it, which is fine. So now, as it runs up, you need to give it some time, let it run all the way up, and we're going to try to go join it here in a second. Full honesty, I am not an IT guy. I don't know what all that means. The easiest way to see if it's ran and is currently running is to simply just load into the game and check if it's running. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go into dedicated servers, top right, I'm gonna search off duty. I'm gonna see if the server pops up. It doesn't pop up. I'm gonna hit refresh, it still doesn't work. So let's open it. Okay, so it just loaded up some more stuff, server settings. So that right there should mean it's ready. All the server, the three server settings, uh, when no one's loaded in, that should mean it's good. So now let's try this again and see if it works now. So once again, we're gonna search it on the top right. We're gonna see what pops up. Okay, sweet, so we're in. Awesome, so now you can come in here, you can create a character just like normal and you can actually load into your game and now you're gonna have a dedicated server that you can play on and then whenever you're done playing, you can log off as well and let it keep running in the background. So the big reason to let it run in the background, let's say you have friends that they can't play when you want to play. So now they can play from your computer using the dedicated server even when you're not on, which is super convenient for them and it's super fun for everybody. So this game is an alpha. The only big error that I've seen right now is going to be with those solo matches. A lot of players, myself included, create a solo match, you do your solo match, you leave it, and then you load back in and you have to restart from zero. It's not saving the progress properly. So hopefully we'll get an update. Please drop a comment and let me know if you know how to fix that or if you know what's going on. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, and this helps you setting up that solo server, setting up that dedicated server on your own computer, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to us. We're finally past 600, getting near 1,000. So hit that subscribe button. Drop us a comment letting us know what you want to see next from Off Duty Gaming so we know what content our viewers are looking for.